What up YouTube, Doug here, TWT Bulls. We have a family of Frenchies here. So we have Bunny, we have Bunny's niece, little Honey, and then we have Bunny's daughter, little Nina. So our family of little blue fawn females here. All of them to me, definitely, come on guys, come on. They definitely fit into that category of not your average Frenchie. Oh, I love these girls. And I tell you what, it was so hard to let Nina go. She's going home this weekend. Oh man, it was hard, but you know, that was only Bunny's first litter. We have her little niece, Honey, and uh, the family get a Nina. They have been waiting a long time. They really wanted her. They appreciate what they're getting. And uh, I just had to let them pick her up. So she's going to Orlando, but man, am I gonna miss this little girl. I mean, this, these bloodlines here, Bunny, Honey, and now Nina. Uh, Carlos of the Flores Frenchies down in Tampa, Florida. I mean, he has some mini muscular bad to the bone Frenchies. Come on guys, come on. They're just trying to get in the shade. So I have to keep calling them out here. He has some fire Frenchies and I'm so happy to have these girls and to have produced this girl. So honey, come here, honey. So what I like to do with Bunny, I mean, it clicks great with Diego. I love that litter. What I'd like to do with Bunny's next litter and then with Honey's first litter is take them to our little Gaston son, Winston. I think it'll be such little mini muscular boned up beautiful little Frenchies with all the features that I like. Um, so that's my plans. And uh, woo, it's hard to see little Bunny's daughter, Bunny's daughter Nina go. It really is. It was hard to see the little Merle boy go. It was hard to see Rip go. But the Merle boy and Rip, uh, their families are in Georgia. So they'll come back out and uh, have some play dates so you guys can see how they progress and grow. And then this little girl, Nina, is going to Orlando. But uh, I'll find a way to get her back on the channel when she's older. I mean, Bunny, your daughter is so cute. I can't take it. I love her little features. I mean, you talk about, she looks a lot like her cousin Honey here. She looks a lot like Honey. It's funny, they're all blue fawns. Bunny's a little bit of a darker shade. Honey's kind of in the middle. And little Nina here is like so light, it's crazy. Um, but all three of them just have the builds, the mini build with the muscle and the features that I love. They're trying to get out of the sun here. So we have three breedings coming up. I'll keep the YouTube channel updated. I really appreciate you guys for watching, for subscribing, for following along. It really means a lot to me. Your support means a lot to me. You know, <laughs> Honey's trying to escape. I mean, uh, Nina. I get their names, come on. I get their names confused. They look so similar. But uh, yeah, your support means a lot to me. It really does. Your views, your likes, your comments, your shares. Uh, just motivates me to get more videos and post more videos and uh, interact more. And I can't wait for these next three litters. We're going to keep these Frenchy litters coming. I'm loving the uh, customers that are reaching out to me. Great family homes. Um, you know, even the other breeders that I'm selling Frenchies to, all their dogs live as family members, which I love that. They all have kids and they really, I can tell, are great families that are going to take great care of the pups they're getting. And man, that's one thing I love about this YouTube is it's like customers know the parents, they know the grandparents, they know the cousins. They've been watching all our dogs on here. So, you know, it's like they trust us, which is a great feeling, you know? And when they come to pick up their pup and they see all ours in person, it's always just the energy and the fun. It's an awesome feeling. It's really cool. So, uh, but uh, man, look at these three girls, little, little family of blue fawn Frenchy females right here. And that's what it's all about, you know? It's funny because Nina, Bunny's daughter Nina, the two boys were very outgoing and crazy from day one. But this little girl Nina was kind of more shy and reserved. So we spent a lot of time holding her, putting her with the other dogs, just building up her confidence. And now that she's coming up on nine weeks old, she's very confident. You see how playful she is with Honey, how she is with her mom Bunny. So that makes me really happy because we want all our pups, you know, not only have the size and structure and look good, but we want their temperaments to be on point. Um, so when she was a little more shy and reserved, I was like, okay, let, let's see how she ages. But now that she's coming up on nine weeks, she's like a normal, outgoing, friendly, loving puppy and nothing kind of phases her now that she's a little older. So I really appreciate you guys for watching, for subscribing, for following us. Again, I can't thank you enough. And <laughs> she just fell. And, uh, oh man, look at these girls. I could just... These are just my style females right here. I could follow these around in the yard all day. Bunny, Honey, and Nina. 
my style Frenchies right there. And I love all dogs, all breeds. I love all Frenchies, no matter how they're built. They're all great dogs. It's just that my vision and uh, our goals and our program and how we want our puppies to look and what we want to produce. These females just do, to me, a great job of showing what our goals are, if that makes sense. So really guys, I appreciate you a lot. I thank you a lot. Every time we do a video, I'll post a breeding video. Every time we have pups born, I always post them on YouTube first. I really appreciate you. It's gonna be a fun, a fun spring and summer. We got a lot going on. Let me know in the comments on April 9th when I go out to this French Bulldog show in Atlanta. Should I bring Bunny and Honey, these two females, because they are freaky to see in person, or should I bring Big Forgy? Or should I bring Little Winston? Man, I can't decide. I can't decide who to bring. There's Winston looking in. Eight months old, just turned eight months old. Man, I'm telling you guys, when I combine Winston with Bunny and Honey, it is gonna be wild. For the real, real mini lovers, woo, sheesh, I can't wait, I can't wait. Because Winston's dad, Gaston, I mean, he is incredible in person. So, man, I got to tell you guys, I'm real excited. I appreciate you all. Thank you again, and I'll catch you on the next one.